Sometimes people ask me, uh, when I'm in a new area, how do I select a place to go bird watching? Well, of course, you can get local information from local people. You can go online and get information about where you are. But if I'm in a new area, one of the things I often do is go to where there's water. I find a local lake, a local pond, a local wetland, uh, or if I'm in the bush, just a little local dam. The reason for that is uh, wetlands and, and patches of water become really uh, strong attractants for many species. There's the obvious birds like ducks and pelicans and things that you'll get on a wetland. And they're big and obvious and so you can, you can see a lot of birds very quickly. As well as then the smaller birds that live around the wet, wetland edge. The crakes, the rails, the reed warblers, etc. But of course many species of birds require water every day to drink and this largely includes birds that eat seeds, parrots and pigeons and finches, for example. So if you're in an area where there's some water and you're there in the either early morning or late evening, you'll also get the other birds coming in from the bush to drink at the, water, at, at the wetland or the water hole that you're at. Now this might be useful for you if you're in a, a place where there's a big wetland and forests around, you may see a few extra species, but it's all the more critical if you happen to be in a dry environment and in the middle of a patch of very dry forest or dry heathland, there's a small patch of fresh water. That will be very attractive to the local pigeons, the local finches and the local parrots. And an hour spent sitting quietly near a spot like that, watching from a distance, you'll be amazed at the species you see. One of the ones I like to see under those circumstances are the bronze wings in inland Australia. Um, the common bronze wing will um, come in to, because they are seed eater, they need to drink in every day, they tend to drink late in the afternoon. They fly in to within 100 metres or so of a, of a little pond or a dam in the, in the bush. And then they'll go down onto the ground and they'll walk in to the, to the water hole and they're very nervous birds. But it's a wonderful way to see them um, out in the open uh, without being disturbed at an inland water hole. So wetlands and water are really great places in many parts of the world, in many, in many environments, to see lots of birds in a local area. Hi, I hope you've just enjoyed watching that YouTube clip that uh, I've produced. If you do like the clips that I'm doing, please do hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share uh, my uh, material with some of your friends. That would be great. I'm sure you know many people that would also enjoy hearing about birds from around the world on my YouTube channel. Thank you.